Welcome back to Game Squad. Didn't quite get it. And it was purely my fault that yeah. time. I, my ears are still running, ringing from that fuck. I think I'm going to put that in at the beginning of the episode. I apologize for all headphone users. Uh, I might have to turn it down. We'll see. It, it peaked the volume, so like... Oh, for sure it peaked the volume. Like, I, I was watching that fucking thing. If I can land on there and then just wait for one second... Ah! It still wouldn't have been it, but... Fuck! Ah. Remember, as long as you land on the, uh, on the P-Switch, you can go to the left because it's all about the time that it takes to kill Baby Babu, yeah. not how fast you get to the flag after you hit the P-Switch. Yeah. Just as long as you, you know, still get to it in time. Yeah, as soon as I'm dies. on, as soon as I'm on the platform or on the flag, when the flag shows up, we're good. But, fuck, I tried to get to the left and I couldn't bring myself to do it. Alright, I'm gonna get five more tries and then I'm gonna hand it over to you and see if you can do it. Alright. Because you, you've been watching, you've been learning, and you have just as much experience, if not more, than I do in, in Mario games. That is depressing because I have, like, no experience in Mario games. Oh, never mind then. Maybe I, I do have more experience. Pretty much any please, more please experience me... I have has been for the channel. Fucking kill me. Please, something! <laughs> something kill me! Please! <laughs> I guess it's, in that situation, it's just easier to stand in front of the, the pipe, maybe. Because I just, there was nothing that wanted to kill me at that section. Like, there was, I just couldn't bring myself to die. Mario's will to live was way too strong. Ooh. Uh... So you lost a little bit of time. You didn't touch the flag immediately. No, but... that but was really good. Is this my best run yet? It might be. No. No. Okay. Uh, it was about... <sighs> okay. It was like 0.2 seconds off your best. Ish. I'm, I tell you what, though. I'm getting really good at killing myself if I fuck up. Like... I'm getting really good at that. Yeah, like the efficiency in which you're doing this run is phenomenal. Other than that one time. Like, yeah, that one ago. time, I really don't know what the fuck happened there. That was just... I can't do better. Uh, I can't do better than that. That's my best that, run. That was really good. I don't think it got it, but that was really fucking good. I can't do better than that. That was my best run. It was your best run. I... I... Alright, so it's back to me. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys. Yes, I'm sorry. Well... <sighs> hey, look at that. You're also really efficient at dying. Yeah. What a great skill to have. See, uh, you optimize that by just jumping into the fish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I gotta tell you that once you get the start down, it. it's it's not too bad. Like it's Damn really it. just getting the start down. All right, whatever. I'll, I'll just practice. Fuck. Okay. Okay. I mean, to be fair, that was only four seconds worse than I did. Yeah. You've only lost four seconds there, despite fucking up a decent amount. Like, I think that might even be my best time. Uh, like, I, don't, I forget what bounce. I was getting. It was, yeah, you were getting about 17 seconds. You, you, it was thereabouts is where you were. Alright, I don't think I lost time on that. Alright. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, it ran a bit too much there on the bridge. That's all good. Uh, I think it was... I actually jumped too late, I think is what it was. Well, that's what I'm saying. You ran too much on the bridge. Oh, that bridge? No, no, the the P bridge um, blocks with the P switch hits. Uh, the bridge there, you jumped pretty decently. You didn't get to jump off the P switch, but no. you're still gonna get a much better time than you have in the past. Yes. So you're you're getting So uh, you know, making a little progress here. You're getting the progress. progress down. You're getting the progress down. I need to work on not 
getting fucked on that slope in the beginning, and then uh, making the jump off the key switch. This was a slow start, so this one's gonna be practice, but... That was good. <sighs> okay, so... Fucking troncodite. <laughs> I'm thinking, how, how far do you have to run on the ba uh, Bowser Jr. bridge in order to jump over the blocks and onto the P-Switch? Because that yeah. might be what we need to do. See, that's and that's what I've been thinking that we would need to do. Because I think that's the sole way, other than like immediately jumping onto the P-Switch when you jump over the uh, Witcher Calm. Um, that's Damn it. the only way I can think of gaining more time. Because... We need a decent amount of time, and I think it's lost in that section there. I, yeah, I think that's, that's what that's it is. That's the, the, really the biggest, like, time waste that I've seen. Uh, do you get, like, a like a speed bonus from bopping off of enemies? Um, you get a, a, a height bonus, which, when you're moving horizontally, doesn't matter too much. Gotcha, because it felt faster when I, uh... Interesting. When I killed the hammer bro i don't i don't think you get a horizontal bonus from it i think it's purely vertical um but because you are still horizontally moving fast i think that is where you get your your boost <sighs> so not great not bad but not great you are definitely much better at this than i am it took me a little while to get to that point, though. Like, yeah. it took me at least 20 tries before I was, like, consistently getting it. So, just give it some time and you'll get there. Ooh, wait a second. Here's an idea. What if we can bounce off of Hammer Bro and then bounce onto um, Bowser Jr. to get onto the P-Switch? What if that happens? Oh, that is... Bouncing off of Bowser Jr. is actually a great way to get exactly the arc you need. That's what I'm thinking. I fucked it up, but as you can see from that little test run... So, we bounce off of Hammer don't Bro. don't lie. I don't think you need to bounce off of Hammer Bro. Well, the reason why I say bounce off of the Hammer Bro is because... Mm -hmm. um, when you bounce off the Hammer Bro, it can help with the timing of the jump after you land. So it's like a bounce off of Hammer Bro, immediately jump on Pollen Landing, and then I think you can bounce off of his head that way. Yeah, you can't get from the water onto it. But it looks like it he died. It seems like that was about the same time that you it were getting. It seems like he died, yeah, about the same time. <sighs> Whoever, who, who was the um, world record holder? I forget what his name is. Whoever the world record holder is, props to you. Because I think you have maximized the potential of this level. Yeah. I think, uh, after... After this episode, we might need to, uh, move on to the other level that he sent us. Yeah. Uh, I'll give it one more go in the beginning of the next episode. Ooh! God damn it! And he died around the same time, so it doesn't really matter there. You know what? I'm actually... If, if you're okay with it, I'm gonna hand it back to you and see if you can do better with that yeah. strat. Yeah, because th that strat doesn't seem to get much time. That's the issue. Cause... But I'm also slower than you are. Right, that's fair point. Not by much, though, so... So, doing good so far. If I could have jumped off of him, that might have been the run. Could have been. Could have been. Oh well. Because that's an area to gain time. That's an area to gain time. I fucking couldn't jump because this connector, this connectivity is bad, and the A button didn't press. Yeah. I still don't think I would have hit him correctly, but because I think I timed it poorly. Fuck. I couldn't. I couldn't arc myself correctly. <laughs> Here we go. All right. 
Good. Good. Fucking hell yeah. Hell yeah! I can't do better. I, I fucking... That is the best that we could do. I can't do better. I don't think. I think that was my best run thus far. And that was still worse than my best run. What? What? Okay. Interesting. So, what did I do that lost time? Maybe jumping up with him isn't the strat. Maybe I have to run. Maybe you're right with that. I'm gonna start fucking metagaming this shit soon, dude. So, fucking... <laughs> Wow. I'm gonna look up the, the speeds. If I gain more momentum from running than I do from in the air, I'm going to start using that. Yeah. That's a bad run. This one's cursed. I'm just gonna die. That run doesn't deserve to finish. So it's about three seconds after you hit the P block that he died. Okay. So I'm wondering if that's consistent. Yes. Because it might be affected by like whether he's in the air or not at all. If I can get him to jump there, so I think I gotta land and then try to see if I can get him to jump. Um, and we can test that, because if he's on the blocks or if he's in the air, that might depend on um, whether or not he dies faster. Yeah. I think that might be part of it. I don't know. See, I'm just... Mario's not the game that I typically play, so I don't have all the facts for this. Yeah, no, I, I have even less than you. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to try a new strat. Instead of trying to jump over Hammer Bro, I'm going to run under. And see what that does for me. I wasn't... Do one, one run when you jump over him, and then one when you run underneath, and I'll benchmark your times, like how fast you get to Baby Bowser. Alright, so this is over. You jumped on him at 290. Alright. And it looked like he was going to probably die around 286. You probably would have jumped on him at 290, but yeah. you got to him at 291. So I'm wondering if there's actually a difference in the timing, whether you go under or over. It doesn't seem like it. I honestly don't think that I have the skill capable to beat this uh, world record. No? No. Because I think... My 13-4 is as good as I'm going to get. See, because if you can arc directly onto that P after jumping on him, I think that that would be how you would do it. I have to arc onto the P and then still keep my rightward momentum instead of, like, turning back. You could turn back, though, because... No, I, I don't think I have the time to turn back, honestly. I, I think you do, though, I, because when I? you did before, you made it. As long as you, you know, don't, like, dilly-dally while you're on the left platform. Okay, that was way too much of a jump. This is the run. Yeah, that wasn't the run. Mm -hmm. But maybe this is the run. So far, so good. I had the RNG there, too! He was on the right side for me, and I fucking was preparing for him not being there. <laughs> Will you keep dying a hammer, bro? Yep. yep. If I could get past him at 294, we got this. Yeah. I just don't know if that's uh, feasible. Yeah, 
That's fair. Because, I mean, I really think you're going as fast as you can up to that point. I just needed to practice the arc. <laughs> There's nothing else I could do yeah. that would have been worth my time. That seemed faster. I, I think I just have to not follow the coins there and, and jump better. If I could jump off that platform correctly, I yeah. think I might have a little bit of time saved there too. Um, hmm. Dude, I think I'm going to just have to figure this out in the next episode. Alright. 